Hi there, it's Dr. Gymnatis again from Cardiovascular Interventions here in Orlando. And I'm gonna tell you today about this tiny little gadget in my hand. And this is a leadless pacemaker. It's actually a pacemaker. And I'm gonna teach you a little bit about how we do this and why we do it and how valuable this really is. So it's a tiny little device. You can see it's not even, a, not even two centimeters long. And before we do that, I have to tell you about how a regular pacemaker is inserted. So I'm gonna draw you a little picture here. And here's the right ventricle. This is the left ventricle. And the right ventricle is a thin wall structure. And what comes into this right ventricle is the venous circulation. So all the veins come back into this area here. And we have a tricuspid valve and the right ventricle. So when we want to put a pacemaker inside the heart, we put it inside the heart in the inner lining of the heart. And we usually can come from the right side or the left side of the chest in a vein. So we make a small entry site in a vein and all veins lead to the heart. So then the wire is threaded under X-ray we bring it down into the right atrium, across the tricuspid valve, and put it inside the right ventricle. Now, this pacemaker is attached, and it will supply the electricity when needed to come down, and it stimulates the inner lining of the right ventricle. It's a demand pacemaker. You will notice that when the electricity starts, in the right ventricle, it then moves in every direction and causes a contraction of the heart. This is a single chamber pacemaker. So how is this new device inserted? It's totally different. For that one, I'm gonna move a little bit this way and draw you another diagram of the heart. And here I'm looking at the heart sideways. So this here is the vein that comes from the top portion. So we normally we would come in this way, go across the valve and insert the pacemaker wire. This is the inferior vena cava that comes from the bottom. And all the venous blood goes up, comes into the right atrium and then into the right ventricle. So this little device is brought in through a catheter from the groin, from the leg. So we take a hollow tube and we put this hollow tube into the right ventricle like this. So now we have a hollow tube that goes from the groin up into the heart. Once it's inside the heart, then I take the device, which is that little tiny device that I showed you, and I put it inside the tube, and I push it inside with a wire, push it, push it, push it, brings it all the way out here. And once it gets over here, it has tiny prongs on it and I will hook it via those prongs against the wall. And once it's placed against that wall there, the hollow tube is taken out and this device stays behind. So this is a device that basically hangs on to the wall of the right ventricle and it will supply the heart muscle with the electricity that it needs. So as the electricity comes around, the heart will beat again. So this tiny device has a battery in it. And that battery will actually last many, many, many years. On average, seven, eight years, even more, depending on how often it's being used. There's no wires attached to it. This little device will detect the own electricity of the heart. And when it's absent, it will then release an impulse and that will make the heart beat. So it's also a demand pacemaker. Just like the one that I showed you here, which is a demand pacemaker, this is also a demand pacemaker. But there's no wire, and it is attached to the inner lining of the right ventricle. The left ventricle, of course, is on the other side here, and that's untouched. But the electricity spreads to both sides of the heart. This little device cannot be retrieved again once it's deployed. Once it's in there, it's always gonna be there. So when it goes out of battery, then what do we do? 
then we simply insert another one. So once this thing is out of battery, we'll put another one right in there. It looks like a little jelly bean and it'll be inside the inner wall of the right medical. This is an amazing technology. Right now it's only being used to paste the right ventricle, but we are in the process of seeing newer technological advances where it will eventually sense the electricity in the upper chambers and paste in the lower chambers. And some new devices are coming out where we will be able to paste the left ventricle as well as the right ventricle and the right atrium, but those are in the investigational stages. So pacemakers have come a real long way. And I will use this type of device on a patient who has occasional need for pacing and in patients who don't otherwise want to have an endovascular procedure done. Maybe they've had endocarditis before, they've had infections and the, the veins are not accessible. Then those patients also will benefit from this type of pacemaker. So this is not a defibrillator. We'll talk about that on another occasion. But I hope you found this helpful, that if you are told that you're going to get a leadless pacemaker, then this is what it's all about. Give me a thumbs up and look for our other videos. Thank you.